Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire Hello everybody and welcome to Las Vegas Motor Speedway for race 2 of the Subway Cup Series. It's time for the Cosmopolitan 400 at Las Vegas. My name is Travis Crampton and alongside me in the booth here today is Nathan Stapleton as always. And Nathan, uh, 67 laps here at Las Vegas. going to be a very long one. Tire, we're going to play a huge role in this race. we are going to see at least two rounds of pit stops. Uh, this track known for... Having that trouble spot off of turn four, what do you think we'll see here at Vegas? Well, first off, you mentioned the trouble spot off of turn four. That's going to be a, a massive trouble spot. Three wide, it's going to be sketchy, and especially if they decide to go four wide. You mentioned the tire. That's going to be a factor here today. Vegas is starting to get older. The surface is starting to wear out a little bit. You're going to see multi tools racing. You're going to see these tires fall off a lot. and. It's going to be up to, uh, first off, the pit crews, the, the first pit stop of the season here today with a couple of them. And second off, it's going to come down to the drivers of, of how well they um, drive with those very worn out tires here at Las Vegas. Yep, of course. Uh, all of that played into the factor that, uh, you know, this track is, multi is a bit interesting with the way the track is. Of course, turn one and two with those bumps down the bottom. The bottom side's not going to be the preferred line heading down into turn number one and two. Then I can get a massive run up top down the back straightaway. And then three and four is the, is the uh, joker, I guess you could call it. Uh, you can run anywhere you want in turns three and four, and you can get a good run. Sometimes the bottom will work. Sometimes the top will work. It all depends on what you have your car set up for. With that being said, let's get these cars rolling. And the, si the starting lineup will be on the side of your screen as everyone rolls off, hopefully. It looks like everyone will. Top 10 will be the number 77 of Skylar Taylor, followed by the 3 of Anthony Hernandez. Row 2, the 48 of Eli Bright, and the 32 of Alex San Vitale. Row 3, the number 11 of Nick Lopez, and the number 78 of Aaron Abel. Row number 4, the 47 of Patrick Smith, who's hopefully going to have a better day than what he had at Daytona. And the 95 of Logan Williams. And then rounding out the top 10 in row number 5, the 66 of Santi Messi and the 37 of Nicholas Samadio. Well, Stapleton, who is your pick going to be here at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway? Well, I think it's going to be a, a multi crew race trap, but at the end of the day, I think trap position is going to play into a little bit of a factor here today. And I, I, I'm going to go with the teammate of uh, the poster. I'm going to go for 78 of Aaron Abel. I think he's going to get the job done starting in that sixth position. I think it's just going to be a little bit of flat position, so once you sell it inside the top 10, you play at Las Vegas. For sure, everyone is still rolling as we go through turns 3 and 4 here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Home of the Neon Garage, it says on that sign right there, and this track is uh, very uh, famous for that in good fan experiences. And Pace Car going to move down to the inside down pit road and leave the field in the hands of Skylar Taylor and Anthony Hernandez. The Cosmopolitan 400 at Las Vegas is green. Lap one will be led by Skylar Taylor, but here in the back, it is Mayhem in just outside the top 10. Oh, Patrick Smith comes down almost in front of his teammate, going from top to bottom, and then we got a hornet's nest from pretty much six on back. And this is the beauty of Las Vegas Multi-Tools racing. Three different groups on both ends of the race track, and 
How about Josh Benson, the Daytona 500 champ from 11th to 5th and 2 laps in that number 1 machine. The Chip Ganassi racing my team and back up front. And a little best to the side of Eli Blight and running two. And yep, that top side is going to be the big key here at Vegas. Eli Bright's going to get that massive run down the back straightaway off of turn number two. Can he get to the inside of Skylar Taylor entering turn number three? Skylar Taylor will close the door. Eli Bright tried doing the way that's probably going to be done here today as Williamson's trying to do that. He ran up top in three and four on uh, uh, one and two. Dive bombed uh, one uh, in three and four. And he's going to ride up the way back. He might try to do the same thing to fill up some momentum to close in on number 11. Taylor, White, and Lopez, the top three. Early on, and we got Toyota, Chevy, Toyota, Chevy, and another Chevy. And then followed that by a Toyota. Meanwhile, back here, it is double file. And everyone's kind of sorted themselves out now. And now it's like got three straight cross cars in a row here trying to make their way through the field. Uh, and... Uh, Gonna be interesting to see how this race plays out. Of course, as the run goes on, the tires will get uh, older and uh, some lines will start to fade away. I think as the race goes on, the bottom's gonna start to get a little bit better than the top and we'll see uh, if uh, if that is plays into effect. Obviously, the weather plays a big role in that and three wide off of turn number four, this is gonna get oh, sketchy. boy. And uh, almost contact right there between Anthony Hernandez and uh, the 47 to Patrick Smith. Uh, great to see uh, JT should really have a better one than what they did at the time so far. Both cars inside the top 15. Williamson tried into the inside of Lopez with Philip, but was not able to. And how about the number 15 of Elijah Gordon in 6th and Alex St. Vitale in 7th? So one for them, quite. Wanted to put up a 1. Might have something for the race lead, not quite. Josh Williamson's gonna try to. One the inside and one and two, and now the middle and one and two. Yeah, and they're going to get a massive run down the back stretch. The Nellis straightaway into turn number three. Nick Lopez going to get clear, shut the door. Skylar Taylor still out front, but we got to put a blanket on the top five, top six right now. So, and then here comes your pick, Aaron Abel, making a move on Alex San Vitale, and he's going to get clear of that 32 machine. But meanwhile, here comes Josh Williamson for third. Going to have to begin to think oh, it's going to be a message to see uh, who has a better Roman card and who has a card set up for the Tyler because Tyler will play into a factor here as Lopez is going to take or try to take second away from Eli Boy in that 48 but Boyd's going to rip the top side and going to keep it for now top 7 top 8 all going to pull away from Anthony Hernandez in ninth. <clears throat> yep Got a little bit of a breakaway right now between this group of cars. And then, but Anthony Hernandez, he's also starting to come back now with help from Noah Clifton and Maxime Gothry and uh, Patrick Smith. And it's been a very solid race so far, but very early on, still a lot can happen in this race. Uh, haven't even hit the first round of pit stops yet, and that could really shake things up when we get to then. So, now the top two are starting to break away. How about Aaron Abel? He whipped the top side last time by... And he gained two spots, and he's going to try to get into some more. Abel is really ripping that top side in one and two. We have a caution. Caution is oh. out. Oh. Chris Reynolds. Oh, no. Chris Reynolds involved. <laughs> Tommy Tripp as well. Meanwhile, back to the line. It's like Skylar Taylor is going to lead him back. But that is a tough break for that number 27 machine. Tough break for Chris Reynolds and Tommy Tripp. Reynolds looked very, very strong in the big 500 last week, but going to have a torn up. Toyota here early on. Yeah, that's very unfortunate for uh, Chris Reynolds because, like you said, had a very strong speed with today. Turner did very good in the duel. I believe won his duel. And then, uh, unfortunately, had that miscue uh, in the 500 with uh, Beal wrecking and uh, getting involved in that. So, uh, going to be interesting to see what happens here. If these guys going to come down pit road or if... Uh, they're going to stay out. Be some, maybe some interesting strategy. We'll see what they do here. Looks like the leaves are going to come in. This yep. is 11 laps in on tires. So tires are probably going to be falling off quite a bit so far. It looks like everyone might go down pit road here. Yep. So we'll see uh, who wins the race off pit road.
And this is the first chance of the season for these owners to see if how the pit crew ratings will be like early on in the year. And see if who will have a fast pit stop here. Looks like, I, mean, I would assume be four tires. Um, with this being really early on and Tyler being such a big deal here at Las Vegas now. And it looks like that is going to be the case for tires. And it would be Taylor, Bright, Rims is going to gain a spot on pit road to top three. No problems on pit road, so everyone doing pretty uh, clean down pit road, no uh, contact or anything. And yeah, you said Skylar Taylor with a good stop, and pretty much relatively the same lineup, besides maybe Williamson getting a few positions and maybe Aaron Abel as well. So we're going to take a quick break to see what brought out the caution and uh, see, uh, and after that, we'll come back to the restart. Well, the trouble spot off of turn four did it again. Chris Reynolds and Bradley Ream way in the back here, racing for the round, the 30, 38th, 39th position. Coming off of turn four, Matthew Burnett got a pretty bad run up on the top side, and Chris Reynolds tried to slot in the gap right there between Matthew Burnett and Jacob Miller and just got in the quarter panel of Burnett, and that's put him down into Bradley Ream. Down the track they went, and... The 20 of Chris Reynolds slid back up the racetrack. Nowhere to go for Colin Teague and Tommy Tripp. Colin Teague majorly fine, maybe just a tiny tap, but Tommy Tripp absolutely destroyed the outside wall. And unfortunately, that's going to end Chris Reynolds and Tommy Tripp's day. So we are the public spot, and this one unfortunately is on Chris Reynolds. Washes up the racetrack in the middle of three wide into the 83 and comes down, wing turns them. Now let this go for Tommy Twip with a big hit. Maybe a little bit of a piece for the 55 of Colin Teague. But unfortunately, a tough way to, uh, to kick off the season for Chris Rose. Really fast at Daytona, but a tough, tough start here at Las Vegas. I think it's going to be done early. Welcome back here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Only cars out from that incident are the two cars that were involved, Tommy Tripp and Chris Reynolds. Uh, I don't believe Colin T got any damage at all from that, so he should be all good to go. Uh, top 10 on the restart, Skylar Taylor, Eli Bright, Josh Williamson, Nick Lopez, Elijah Gordon, uh, Aaron Abel, Santi Messi, Noah Clifton, Anthony Hernandez, and Alex Sanvitale. Only on lap number 14 and 67, still a long way to go here in this, in this race. Pace car will go down pit road and we'll see how this restart unfolds here at Vegas. Taylor has led every lap so far. Have to see what Dwight, Williamson, and Lopez can do. And the restart zone, and we have back wing out of Vegas. A great jump from Skylar Taylor in the number 77. And so with Josh Williamson moving to the inside of Alec, uh, Eli Bright and uh, this is when you want to make your move. The bottom is the best on the restart in one and two, and that's what you saw with Josh Williamson right there. Got to the inside of uh, Eli Bright and cleared him. Now going to try to go after Skylar Taylor, who's led every lap so far of this race, and Nick Lopez now to trying to take advantage of Eli Bright. Uh, miscue on that restart. And not a good restart from Eli Bright. This is just a crucial spot of second, but he's going to hang on to third. How about an Abel in that 78 machine looking really strong? The front of Thoreau is looking really strong here today. As Bright's gonna probably take second right back. As that's just, just a messy three wide through the middle here. Now, what and that's gonna work out for him. Gets wow. two for one special right there in three and four, and he's gonna put himself all the way to the fifth position. The new one's saying that. Yeah, maybe for fourth, and when we were saying that this track is most likely loose, we were not kidding. Some cars were better than one and two, like on the bond, plus it's the top, but mostly it's the bond. And, and three and four, though, is a free-for-all. Inside, middle, and even to the top, the six, six one in the middle again, and he forced his way to the middle. Yeah, that was almost some contact between him and Nick Lopez right there, but luckily they uh, kept it together, and it's still clean and green here at Las Vegas, and... Now it's trying to catch Eli Bright and Josh Williamson trying to catch Skylar Taylor. But Skylar Taylor having a good race so far in the lead. And if we go a little bit further back, 
the first battle is uh, no Clifford versus Aaron Abel. Not anymore. We've got a three-wide battle between Alex Samitali, Anthony Hernandez, and Patrick Smith. Of course, Josh Ramsey trying to kick off the scene with two back-to-back -back victories on the season four of the Subway Cup series, the first two wins in series S3. But Skylar Taylor is looking really, really good in this number seven, seven team. But here comes Eli Bright with a one off of turn number two. Not quite to the inside of Williamson. But these three might be some of the best calls on the way straight. And then uh, you cannot count Messi in that success as well. Looking really good on this restart. I think the top four are possibly the best four calls now. As here we go, Bright and Williamson side by side for second. Yep, down to the inside goes uh, Eli Bright on Josh Williamson, but will Williamson get that run off on the top side like we've seen today? The bumps of one and two, not the best if you're on the bottom and you want to be on that top side in one and two, but three and four is even. You're going to see Eli Bright get to the quarter panel and we'll see if he can clear the one of Josh Williamson. Not quite going to keep it there. And see, you saw Santi Messi also follow Josh Williamson. He's going to get a good run off the corner. He's going to move to the outside of Eli Bright. Messi might be able to take the other way from Eli Bright. Eli Bright might be falling back a little bit. I think this boy got a good one in the 500. I, I'm not entirely sure, but oh my goodness, Messi is moving from top to bottom, from fourth to third to possibly second here. What a restart from the 66 of Messi. Absolutely sending his car right now, and it's sticking wherever he wants to put that car. But Josh Williams got a good run on the top side of turns three and four, and he's going to keep that second position. But Eli right now over the back bumper of Santi Messi, and now here comes Nick Lopez, Elijah Gordon, and the rest of the pack behind him. They're also catching up to this four-car battle for the lead. How about Hendrick? They have three cars up front. That's battle for the way sweet. Josh Williams on the inside of Taylor, but Taylor's going to one up top, and... Gonna keep e uh, keep the lead easily. Back to Hendrick. Three calls all up here. Eli Boy with both the clown training up front and the uh, Clifton. Three out of four. Great one for Hendrick so far. And gonna be interesting of what they can do for the rest of this race. Still, you know, on not even halfway through the, the Cosmopolitan 400. Yep, and it's definitely been a great race so far. Battle for that fifth position. Patrick Smith moves to the inside of Nick Lopez. We'll see if he can make it stick in that Dylan's click list, number 47 machine. We had a really rough Daytona, but it's good to see that. And meanwhile, back up front, Josh Williamson thought about going for the lead there, but hit those bumps and that slowed him down. Patrick Smith's going to clear Nick Lopez for that fifth position. Patrick Smith, definitely a nice comeback from what happened to a miserable speed weeks and a miserable Daytona for this entire JTG team and Caleb Rose. Um, but a much better start this week. Uh, I don't know where the 37 is, but the 47 is inside the top five. The times of charm maybe, Limson back to the inside, but it's gonna be tough to get past the 77. Taylor has a great car here today and that's gonna stack everybody up. Messi, Bright, and Pat Smith, all oh, bound for second fight with a slide job attempt almost. Washes up the race track and watch out for Messi here. Right back up to second. Wow, what a race this has been. Yeah, and it's all been for second on back. You know, Skylar Taylor's had a little bit of challenges here and there, but every time that someone has gone to the inside of Skylar Taylor, Skylar's gotten the run off of the corner up on the top side and been able to keep her lead and... Here comes the 66 of, Scott, uh, of uh, Santi Messi, my bad. And to the inside uh, goes Noah Clifton on Nick Lopez uh, for that sixth position. And Noah Clifton also starting to move his way up in the number five, Hendrick Motorsports Machine. And you know who else is moving his way up to the front? That 95 of Logan Williams popping inside the top 10, trying to take the ninth position away from both the Clown Jr. Had it last time by. And a couple of fours as well, the 10 and the 4, of Sustry and Beal battle for the waist lead though. You know, our boy and Sustry, this boy have a good long one card, we have to wait and see. And it, it will be brightly in that lap, I think that's the first time all day that someone other than the Samson has that led a lap. Yep, it has, and now... Josh Williamson going to take it to the extreme high. Skylar Taylor in the middle. Eli Bright down at the bottom. Who's going to get the run off the corner? Down the back straightaway. This, the battle for lead, is still on. 
Will Eli Bright get a good run through the corner here in three and four? Santi Messi has a great run right there for third, but Eli Bright off of turn number four. Who's going to lead this lap? I think it's going to be Eli Bright once again, but can he stay <laughs> on that bottom and stay next to that 77 machine? We know that top is so good in one and two. Oh, but Eli Bright looked really good in one and two about even... M1 and 2 can Bright stay even in 3 and 4. Taylor will put the one on the exit. Hmm, it's going to be 77 still. Bright did lead a couple laps there, but Taylor is back out front. Yeah, it was a great battle right there, but Eli Bright's not done yet. All over the back bumper of the 77 of Taylor. One more time. Will he stay? He's going to stay behind the 77 this time, but here comes Santi Messi now running that middle, trying to get a good run down the back straightaway. Will he move to the inside? Eli Bright might move to the inside before him. He's going to make a defensive line. Messi's going to go to the top side. Oh, boy. That was a little bit tight right there between Messi and Bright. Tell you one that has unfortunately disappeared, and that is my pick of Aaron Abel in the 78. Must not have the same speed as what the 77 does, and outside of top 10 and maybe getting close outside of top 10 for Aaron Abel unfortunately but how about the racing we've seen so far one way up the race back and one and two back there battle between the 11 and Fantastic Stuff's top single file first battle is Nick Lopez and Elijah Gordon yep and Elijah Gordon gonna get a run based on a little slide up just a little bit wide but still he's gonna get that run off the corner and this is, the tire, this is the point in the run. Meanwhile, we got a bow for lead point in the run where you're seeing the tires really start to slow down now. And uh, these guys trying to stay, save their stuff. And Santi Messi has a huge run down the back straightaway. Moves to the inside of Eli Bright. Crossover move. We'll see if Messi can stick it in there. And not quite for that 66 machine. Meanwhile, we got Josh Williamson versus Patrick Smith. And Smith trying to rip that top side as well to get round. Uh, Josh Williamson and will do that. Now can he sneak to the outside of Santi Messi heading into number one? He's going to try the crossover move because things better. Meanwhile, I got another battle for the race lead. Looks like now Leon in this one, the outside lane is starting to really cook as I believe as no question that barely got to the outside of the number one of Josh Williamson. And here comes Patrick Smith to the inside of Messi. And yeah, that outside lane is being really, really good at the moment and I'm curious on when we will see pit stops because I believe we paid around about 10, about 12, something like that so gonna have to see when we pick for the first round of green flag pit stops in the day and Messi, Bright, Taylor, the top 3-3 three, three, right back there with that's right. Yep and you know who also just peeked his nose I saw in the uh in the back there, Roberto Crown Jr. has gotten by this pack, and now he's also trying to catch up to Noah Clifton and add his name to the mix of the six-car battle for the lead. Yeah, great one from him in the North Force today. Three out of the four cars inside the top six. Again, Eli Blake going to try the inside lane, but that inside lane is really falling off at one and two now. It was looking like it was a little bit more even, but now that inside lane is not looking at in one and two. Bright gonna try to, to, to keep second away from Messi and side by side. Contact right there off of turn number four between Nick Lopez and Elijah Gordon. We about just sent one around right in the middle of the field and that would have been bad. They kept it together. And meanwhile, up front, Eli Bright still trying to get by that 56 machine and still battle for that second position. And Skylar Taylor, yes, yeah, she likes what she sees in the mirror, but they have been this entire time right behind her on her back bumper. Sure, Taylor's been the dominant caller of the day, but at the same time, she's never really been able to pull away. There's been five, six, seven cars keeping up with her within a, a couple of seconds. So, so uh, it's going to be interesting if what anyone has for Might have to watch out for if a uh, messy guy around Eli Bright. We've seen it this entire one that Messi has had a really fast car. Now this is going to be interesting. Messi and Taylor potentially for the top spot. Yep, of course Messi has had a pretty good car ever since the restart. Whatever they did on that pit stop under that caution, they found something. And now you can see like right to the inside of Santi Messi trying to take that second place back from 
messy, but messy up top. But Eli Bright on the bottom is still, still there, but that run up top is just so good. And now here comes Josh Williamson, might make it three wide on the bottom, but thinks better of it and, and backs out of it. And now Williamson going to slide up the racetrack a little bit, but he is all good and has some challenge right there from Patrick Smith. Pyro's definitely becoming the fact that these guys are going way, way slow get out of Las Vegas and it's going to be interesting when pit stops happen. Four points by pit stops the first one of the season is when we get to that point. He has a name we have not seen yet today. Look who's prowling on this group. That's the four. Brandon Beal oh. out of nowhere and Beal trying to catch up to this seven car group and add his name into the mix and Beal's closing on this group as well. Oh yeah, Beal might have a really good long one car. We've not really seen Beal yet. I saw Beal and that's why his me in the 10 kind of foul for the just outside of the top 10, but Beal trying to make it a nine car league group here. And he's definitely closing fast in that number four machine. Yeah, for sure. And it's only a matter of time. Here we go. Green flag oh, pit stops right go. away. Now, this is when you don't want to miss pit road. We've seen time and time again, this is a hard pit road to get onto. You don't want to make a late entry onto pit road. I don't think anyone's going to miss pit road this time. Bye. Santi Messi, Josh Williamson, Nick Lopez, Sam and Oskin. Oh, no. Oh, Matthew no. Burnett. Burnett misses pit road. He's going to hit Santi Messi on pit road. Oh no, that is a wacky scenario and tough play for Messi. Don't know if they're going to have to fix that car or not. Tough play for the 83 of Burnett. He's had an up and down day. Here we go, group number two. Beals did not do what we just saw. It looks like he doesn't. Yeah, that is and almost a, the whole field coming in this time by. A bunch of cars playing this time by now. What is the fuel window here, do it's you a, think? It's around 25 to... to... I want to say 25 to 35 laps. I don't know for sure, but it is definitely around that range. It's about 25 to, to 30 laps on tires, but I don't know about fuel. Probably a little bit longer than that, but it's one of those tracks where you won't want tires more than fuel. So mm -hmm. it's interesting to see what oh, these drivers team. do. Josh Williamson I think they, out. Uh, yeah, yeah, Josh Williamson out. I think they pivot with about 25, 27 laps to go. So we'll see if these guys can make it on fuel and tires or not. But how about Josh Minson and the number one machine? He might be the latest leader, but we're going to see if how much a couple of laps really means on these tires here. Yeah, there's Skylar Taylor, the race leader. Williamson's going to fly right by Taylor. and But this is where the Taylor has the advantage. Taylor has about one to two lap fresher tires and... As the tires get older, she'll start to slowly reel in Josh Williamson as long as she, she can save her stuff for the end. Yeah, without a doubt. And who knows, maybe we end up having a few miles race here. If it's maybe being close, so I don't know if tires are more important than uh, fuel here. As I think fuel just came down pit road in number four last time by. So I believe, yep, he did. So he might have the flushest tires out of everyone here. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, William Mayers got a little bit close there to the four brand Beal coming off pit road, but they kept it all good. So uh, checking out throughout the field, everyone seems to be all good here. And there's your pick, Aaron Abel got a bad pit stop, and now he's towards the back of the field, and that's not what that 70. Oh no, the race no, leader no, blows no. up. Josh Williamson blows up off of turn number two. And the, oh man, he had such well, a big lead as well off from the pit road, and that's what Skylar Taylor wanted to see right in front of her. No, oh, that's not what we wanted to see. I took the after racing. No, uh, that's oh. gonna need a new uh, ECR engine for that number one machine. Yep, there goes that engine. Um, well, Josh Benson did have a one and a half second lead, almost two second lead, and it would have been very interesting of. If Taylor would have been able to catch up in time. Uh, but now things have changed. T it is now Scarlett Taylor out front, Nick Lopez in second, Clifton in, in third. Ha Where did Zachary, Zachary Taylor, Taylor come from? In the 21. How about the 31? Is that the 31? That yeah, Angel 31. Gutierrez in the 31. Owen Miles in the 19. Sam and Oskin in the 18. Logan Williams in the 95. He's been here all, all race, but. So 
some new players up front after the pit stops. Also, the 33 of William Ayers as well. So, a lot interesting clearer. to see what happens here as no Clifton moves to the inside of Nick Lopez and will get that move completed. I believe we have four players inside the top eight now. With the 77, 11, 19, and 18. So, Toyota, they had a great pit stop here at Las Vegas. And now, Clifton's trying to chase down uh, Scott Taylor for the race lead. It's been basically Scarlett Taylor for the Tinder Most Sports all day long. And how that would. Uh, I'm another one. First is Eli Blight, and now it's No Clifton versus Scarlett Taylor. And Clifton has a great runoff at turn number four, but made the move at the wrong time right on corner exit. Couldn't get the runoff the corner. Got stuck behind the 77. Will Clifton make a move to the inside? Yes, he will. To the inside of Scarlett Taylor in the 77. Skylar dove it into the corner right there and was able to keep the lead, and we'll see if. Clifton can continue that run into turns three and four. If these two get side by side, watch out for Nick Lopez. He's been chilling inside the top five all day long. He's been not, not been able to make a ton of moves. I'm a ton of moves, but uh, speaking of moves, Clifton to the inside of Taylor, and he's going to power his way to the lead on the inside and going to slide up to the slide job. Taylor, wow. But oh, Taylor's going to come back on Noah Clifton to the inside. Bow for the race lead once again. Clifton can try to run the top side. Taylor on the bottom. And I think Clifton might be able to clear Taylor on the bottom. And yes, he will. And Taylor, I don't know. Maybe the the short run's not the best in the car. We saw Taylor lead a lot of laps early. But early in the run, looks like the 77, not the same car as what we saw earlier. Yeah, that was very interesting. A slide job. Yeah, I lost Vegas. And, uh, watch out now. Look at Logan Williams flying at number 95. Absolutely moving. And he, he might be the fastest car on the race track. Yeah, it's well, at least one of them. Yeah, well, it's a matter of time. These Chevrolets looking real fast right now over these Toyotas. The Toyotas might have a good pit crew, but... These Chevys are really showing the speed on the racetrack right now. And from the inside of Nick Lopez goes Logan Williams down the back stretch in the Nell straightaway to the inside. Three and four. Logan Williams will clear easily in Nick Lopez. And now Logan Williams is going to try to do the same thing to Skylar Taylor in due time. And we'll see if Logan Williams, Logan Williams from the inside of Skylar Taylor. Will he do the same thing? No, he did. No, Clisson did this Taylor to the inside in one and two. Pretty even. We'll see down the back stretch. Logan Williams might be the guy to watch out for later on in this one. He is moving. He got past the 21 with ease. He got around the 11 with ease. Trying to pass Taylor, who was one of the best cars all day long, and he does. So now Logan Williams up to second. Trying to chase down Noah Clifton. Chevy's trying to dominate and uh, I'm only on in the season. Josh Benson won at the Daytona in the 500. And Chevy, they've not really been dominant this, uh, uh, uh I'm in this race, but they've found something on the heel eight with Logan Williams and Noah Clifton. Yeah, and Logan Williams, he's already caught the back bumper of the five and Noah Clifton. We might see a battle for the race lead late here at Las Vegas. Logan Williams, will he say he's going to stay behind the five for now? And just bide his time. Not a bad decision. Make Noah make a mistake instead of forcing a mistake of himself side by side down the bat switch and then turning turns three and four away. Fantastic race. This, this has been a little bit of a different race than we normally see at Las Vegas on another lot offline race, but this has been fantastic with a multi group Las Vegas and the tile fall off. Logan Williams is going to take the weight to lead away. Potentially, he is going to do a dive bomb. He does, but Clifton's going to lift the top side. Still side by side for second, but I think with how fast these cars are and how much the two toilets have fallen off behind them, I think it's going to stay between the nine and uh, uh, the 95 and, eight and the number five. And still side by side down for turn number four. Logan Williams almost clear of Noah Clifton trying to get clear. He is for now. <coughs> excuse me. And Logan Williams, he's clear now for turn four. Or for turn two, I Williams mean. Williams got it. Williams got it in the number 95. 
to the lead. Williams, Clifton, one, two. Now, look and at the gap got... he pulls already. Oh, my goodness. This 9.5 is a rocket ship right now. Yeah, this 95, like you said, is a massive rocket ship. And Skylar Taylor, Nick Lopez is starting to fall off a little bit. And here comes Beal now. Beal has the freshest tires. He waited the longest. So Beal now getting around the 21 is Zachary Taylor. And we'll see if Beal can chase down uh, third and fourth. I don't know if we will have something for the top two, but uh, you're on to something. B was the last one to pit, along with, I believe, that maybe the 15 of Eli Dragoon as well. I don't see him in the top 10, but B might be able to get a, a top three finish here at Las Vegas if we can catch up to the 11 and 77 and then pass him here. There's 10 laps to go at Las Vegas. Yeah, and that definitely this is the kind of run that Beal needs after wrecking out at Daytona in that uh, wreck off of turn number four. And uh, now Nick Lopez, though, to the inside of Skylar Taylor. Will Nick Lopez be able to do anything? Taylor's been strong, just not... Ooh, boy. <laughs> Nick Lopez about misjudged it on Skylar Taylor right there, and that would have been bad. And we would have had a late race restart right there. And now Beal just waiting for these two to make a mistake. Oh, Nick Lopez goes a little wide. Beal boosts the inside, trying to get a two-for-one special down the back straightaway. Three wide for third. Yeah, Las Vegas. Taylor's going to keep it for now. Beal's going to try to take fourth away from Lopez, and he will. Great one for Beal late. Uh, with that strategy of saying, hey, let's just play the long game here. Have the freshest tires out of anyone late. He's going to take third, and I don't know if he's going to have enough time. He's going to be... The Two and a half, maybe three seconds behind the top two with seven laps to go. But if you can get clear of Taylor this time by uh, with eight to go, maybe you might have something for the top two with seven to go. Yep, to the inside goes Beal trying to get clear Skylar Taylor, and he will with ease. And Taylor, Nick Lopez <laughs> once again getting close to that quarter panel of that number 77 machine. That is twice in about four laps right there that these two almost came together. and. That would have been bad once again, but now Roberto Crown Jr. trying to get all over these Toyotas. And like you said, it's been pretty much Toyota versus Hendrick today. And, and with the surprise addition of Brandon Beal and Logan Williams, it's kind of turned this race upside down. Yeah, if that was out, I don't think Beal will, will have enough time. Even if he was able to catch up at the top two, he would have to catch up to uh, Clifton and pass him. And then he would have to catch up and pass Logan Williams. I don't think that's going to happen, but Logan Williams might just be able to go on cruise control be late in the going in this one. Dominant late and uh, still a good one for Beal, and uh, it's going to be interesting if what happens here late as, oh my goodness. Zachary Taylor trying to get around there. Oh! Ooh. Boy! <laughs> I don't know what uh, Zachary Taylor was trying to do there, one in an extremely high line and doing it for a well reason, and such why Bill's teammate about let them right there. Yeah, that was very close off of turn number four right there, and you know, and it, you know, it, the lines converge if you run the top and you you stay against the wall. If you run the bottom, you kind of slide up the racetrack off of turn four and. The lines just kind of converge there, and we've seen that multiple times here today, and uh, I'm surprised that that hasn't caused more accidents, but these drivers, you know, they're showing their skill, and, and Eli Bright falling out of the top 10 here and racing for round 15th. It's a uh, very disappointing day for that 48. Showed a lot of speed early and kind of late go off. You have a th two or three dominant cars early on, like Eli Bright, um, Skylar Taylor, and even Pat Smith was having a top five car early on he, he felt that uh, as well a lot of racing and oh uh, yeah same with messy and assisted it's either got bad pit stop or went south on the adjustment or something bad one after the pit stop with three laps to go it's looking pretty good for the top two Beal is not going to catch up in time and Beal is uh pulling away from third uh, uh, from fourth and third, but he's not catching up for the top two. And Logan Williams is massively, uh, massively pulling away from Clifton now with two laps to go out at Las Vegas. Yep, and Logan Williams, 
he was uh, in the top 10 pretty much for most of the day, but just outside the top five. And then after pit stops, Logan Williams, whatever they did to that car, came to life after that green flag pit stop. And he's coming down to the white flag this time by. And I think everyone's good to go on fuel and tires. So and I think it's just going to be a two-stopper, one caution, and one, uh, one green flag pit stop. White flag is out for Logan Williams and that number 95 machine. Logan Williams, he got a top five at at um, at uh, Daytona in the 500, and it looks like he's gonna have two top fives in a row and get the race victory here at Las Vegas down at Bastard for the final time for the number 95. And Logan Williams into turns number three and four in the Top Golf machine for Levine Family Racing. Logan Williams off of turn number four is all good, and he will win the Cosmopolitan 400 at Las Vegas. What a race, only one caution, fantastic racing all day long. And Logan Williams, I think it's safe to say that he would probably be the point leader going into race number three with bad, bad top fives. Yep, and that was a great finish right there from Logan Williams. No Clifton in second, Brandon Beal in third, and Beal came on strong late. Good strategy by that number four team and uh, pitting uh, the latest there and getting around those two Toyotas and uh, getting that third place finish and here's the rest of your finishing results Skylar Taylor led the most laps I'm pretty sure and but just came home a little bit short in fourth position Roberto Crown Jr. in fifth Kyler Sestri sixth Nick Lopez in seventh Zachary Taylor we didn't see at all in the first half of the race and then after that green flag pit stop showed up inside the top five fell back to eighth Angel Gutierrez same ordeal there finished in ninth and Patrick Smith with a solid run all day gets home a top ten finish after what happened to Daytona yeah, that was, that was a great one from a, a bunch of people that needed ones here today, and what a race here at Las Vegas. Did not disappoint here, and I am very much looking forward to of what the rest of this West Coast swing has in store. Yeah, and uh, here's the rest of the finishing results there, and Josh Wimpson blew that camshaft in the lead, and that is not what you wanted as a team owner right there. I know you were pretty happy seeing Josh Williamson and pretty fe feeling pretty confident on a good start to the season uh, but not the uh, result that you were hoping for that for that one car yeah definitely not um, very unfortunate um, gonna win the 500 and now uh, for your peer today so probably would be about 20th 15th in points depending on how it, um, everything straights out and a uh, tough boy but that's why it's a long season and uh, hopefully we can not have that happen later on in the chase. Yep, and uh, of course the only crash of the day, Tommy Tripp and Chris Reynolds, those two were out of the race and something happened to uh, obviously Matthew Burnett missed pit road and something happened to Elijah Gordon finishing five laps down so that's very unfortunate for uh, Premium Motorsports and that 15 machine because they were running up front as well early on and, uh, and something happened either during that pit stop or something after the pit stop so it's not what they were wanting but overall besides that very fantastic race at uh, Las Vegas uh, what's your final thoughts and rundown here at Vegas well you pretty much said it. this race was fantastic from the get-go multi good racing all over the place here and this was a fantastic race the inside lane looked the middle looked uh, the outside lane looked just everywhere was a option for these guys and it provided a lot of great action and well, uh, Logan Williams didn't really seem all this long but got a great pit stop late didn't got him enough towards the front and then they got a rocket ship towards the end and back back top fives Logan Williams could be a early contender for this time yeah for sure with that being said thank you guys so much for watching the Cosmopolitan 400 at Las Vegas. Next week is the Toyota 200K at Sonoma. Some road course racing action. Be sure to tune into that. And on behalf of Nathan Stapleton, my name is Travis Crampton, and we will see you guys next time.